Hey there, I'm Michaela Savage with your news briefing. A new task force has been established as Medibank continues to offer support to customers who've had their personal information compromised in the recent cyber attack. Australian Federal Police and the Australian Signals Directorate have created the new operation to tackle cyber criminal syndicates. The aim is to stop the hacks before they can even happen by dismantling criminal groups. Attorney General Mark Dreyfus says they're working around the clock to catch those doing the wrong thing online. The AFP has already been working day and night scouring the internet and known criminal online sites to identify those who are buying and selling personal information. Federal police yesterday confirmed they believe a group of individuals operating primarily out of Russia are responsible for the data leaks. The federal treasurer is headed to Indonesia today. Jim Chalmers will attend the G20 Joint Finance and Health Ministers meeting. He'll also accompany the PM to the B20 summit, where the Russian war in Ukraine and the cost of living crisis will be hot topics. The flood risk hasn't gone anywhere for residents in parts of northern Victoria and southern New South Wales. More heavy rain and storms are headed that way over the next 24 hours. The same goes for South Australia as well. State emergency services are preparing to offer assistance to those in need. And Twitter has been facing some issues with its new blue tick system, with the premium service where users pay for verification unavailable for a period yesterday. What would you do with a dollar? Did you know that for every one dollar donated to Food Bank, two meals are created? Head to foodbank. In the AFLW this afternoon, the Tigers are up against the Kangaroos in Melbourne for their semi-final. In just over half an hour, the Crows and the Magpies will go head-to-head -head in South Australia in the other semi. And there are concerns over tomorrow's T20 World Cup final. England and Pakistan are supposed to face off at the MCG, but the weather forecast isn't looking very friendly. If it gets rained out, Monday is the backup plan. And if it's too wet to play then as well, we'll just have to change the of Friday for the Limestone Coast, cloudy with a medium chance of showers reaching a top of 19, Saturday showers and 18. And the new season of Hamish and Andy's Remembering Project podcast is now available exclusively on Listener. Download the app and sign up for free.